All right, Davis family, it's uh, high time to get you guys a, a video update of what's going on with Daisy and show you uh, a little bit about how she's been progressing, uh, talk about kind of what comes next. We're here, you know, in the, the final week before Christmas, and uh, Daisy's going to be ready going home. As you might notice, Daisy just went outside uh, through her little doggy door, um, so she's well accustomed to using the doggy door. Uh, to go in and out, um, uh, to go potty, to go get a drink. Um, that's all going very well. Um, so she's really been uh, progressed nicely. So actually right here is uh, one of our new girls in the house as well uh, named Annie. Uh, Annie's actually one of our breeding females. So Annie is kind of going to be kind of hanging out. And I've actually got kind of the, the full background of chaos going on around me. So you can kind of get a feel for for what Daisy is actually like in the you know, the, the, the chaos of, of our home, um, so you know what you're going to be seeing when you make that transition. So first and foremost, um, you know, the, the thing that is the most important is, Daisy, pop, pop, hey, you going to go see? Okay, she's probably out taking care of business. Nope, there she is. Um, first and foremost, the most important thing is health. You know, um, a dog has to be healthy in order to be able to accomplish anything um, we have to have a dog you know in good health in order to be able to to, to be able to learn anything and to be any sort of a, a, a tool so um, just today we actually finished up um, all of our puppy vaccinations so we have our rabies vaccines done she's good to go for um, the next year at least so she should be all good all wrapped up there <laughs> and he's going to be a pretty good prop here um, but you can definitely see she's accustomed to other dogs. Other chaos is, is not a problem. So um, the other thing that I wanted to point out here next to Annie is size. You can see that Daisy is has gotten big. Um, she is not a little baby anymore. Um, she is a big girl. Um, definitely pretty um, pretty good size female. She's actually over here saying hello to my, my daughter in the background. Hey, Annie. Get you out the door. Um, you can see she's very sweet. She's very affectionate. Um, uh, Daisy is like this all the time. She's very, um, you know, seeking attention um, and, and is is very social, um, and, and, but not in a way that is, you know, kind of overly uh, offensive. Um, you can come say hi. Probably going to get the other dog to come get on me now. Um, but I really like Daisy, and I really think she's going to be the perfect fit um, in your home um, because she really just it's she just goes with the flow. She's she's a very go with the flow dog is is what I would call. Now, um, so priority number one is her health. Health has been great. Um, her food uh, has been great. Um, her stool is very normal. Her vaccinations are all done. I feel like uh, her growth is excellent. She's going to be a a well-built dog. She's not going to be a small, frail dog. She's going to be a big, uh, healthy female. The second thing is socially, you can see she's a very social dog. She's a very affectionate dog. You know, really those traits that we saw the first time you guys came to visit, that hasn't changed. Um, you know, that is is who she is. Um, she is a, a very, you know, she's just lovey. You know, she's a lover. Uh, let's come over here. We'll get a little bit better look of my daughter who uh, did not volunteer for this video, but is going to be doing it anyway. Thank you, Brinley. And you can see that she's just really just sitting here eating this up. Now, <clears throat> we have um, not restricted Daisy from being on the furniture. So I don't know if that's a problem for you, um, but we, we typically do not restrict our dogs from being on the furniture because that's part of our lives. Um, so uh, for us, that's just part of what we do. There you go. So the next thing I want to talk about is is how do we train Daisy? What what is what does she know? What do we work with? Um, and the, the first thing you have to know about any kind of training we do with the dog, um, it's all about what motivates the dog. Um, with Daisy, it's pretty simple. Um, she's happy to work for snacks. She's pretty motivated by food. She's also very motivated by love and affection. Good girl. Good sit. Let's sit. She is not overly, um, certainly not food aggressive, 
Um, and definitely is, is very calm. Like you can see, I'm, I'm feeding her from the hand here and she's very gently just taking something out of my hand. So even if she is given something by hand, she's not going to, to bite at it or anything of that sort. So she's very gentle um, in that way. Uh, but definitely food is a strong motivator. Really, really a lab their whole life, they are motivated by food. Um, most labs are, are always hungry. And Daisy is pretty typical in that regard. Speaking of feeding her, we have only been, we are down to only one feeding a day. We're going to sit. Good. Sit. Um, she's only having one feeding a day. And we typically feed at night before we go to bed um, in her crate. So she sleeps in a crate. Um, all night in a crate, no problems, no crying, no whining. Um, and we feed in the crate. The idea is that we want to feed them right before they go to bed. So they have the longest amount of time for uh, digestion without exercise because we want them to, uh, to digest all, all that food and not have any, um, uh, any sort of bloat issues associated with, with exercise after eating. So we usually feed right before bed. So Daisy is, is very motivated with food, like most labs her size. Well, like most labs in general. Um, so food definitely is, is the language of love. But definitely is still happy to see, you know, happy to have some praise done. Now, we have done some obedience training, like we said we would, you know. Uh, and, and what I want to, you know, preface this to say that, you know, she is, gosh, what are we, uh, five months and some change, is that right? Um, and so this is a dog, she knows obedience, she knows the commands, but it's far Far from being proficient. She is not going to be polished. She is not going to be 100% responsive without a leash. Um, you know, there's, there's a long way to go here because she is a child. She is a baby. Um, she will get, you know, even significantly bigger than she is now. She's got a long ways to go in terms of growing physically and intellectually. So we're really just have built a foundation and she is going to respond nicely to this. So you can see that we can just give a little tug on a leash and she responds nicely. No pulling, no lunging, you know, no um, behavior of, you know, trying to, to run off. There's no fighting the leash. There's nothing like that. Um, you know, she generally is going to walk very politely on a leash. She is a dog that, that really um, took to this very, very easily because of her calm, docile temperament. She was like, okay. Fine, I'll walk beside you. That's okay. Um, and then we give a little bit of a sharp tug up and tell her to sit. Good. Sit. Good girl. Good. We've been working on doing that without food. We're transitioning to doing that move without food. Good girl. Good, you. Good girl. So Daisy is going to be, I think, a great fit. Um, you know, she's a young dog. She's not fragile. You know, she's not, a, you know, a, an infant, but she is definitely a child. You know, she is, you know, got a lot more that she can learn. Um, and I think her lovey temperament is going to be perfect for you. I do think that when you get her home, hey, right here, babe. Um, I do think that her, her calm demeanor is going to show his fear. I think she will be scared when you get her home. I think. Um, I think when you transition to a totally new environment, uh, usually dogs that are this, um, you know, tenderhearted, this sweet, tend to get, uh, they can be overwhelmed by a totally new environment. Um, you know, she's good if we go somewhere or do something, um, but I imagine she's probably going to be a little bit like, whoa, what's going on? Um, but definitely, you know, food and love uh, are the language for Daisy. Um, but again, I just I think she's the perfect fit for what we are, are talking about for your family situation. I mean, just an absolute gem of a dog, you know. I mean, here I am, you know, just sitting in the middle of the room. There's five other dogs to go play with. There's everybody else that she could go check out. There's a cat up there on the couch that she could go chase. And she's just sitting here with her head on my leg, being an absolute sweetheart. So I really like Daisy. I just I think she's going to be the perfect companion for this kind of therapy service role we've talked about. You know, I think we, we really picked the right one. I think she's off to a great start. So I think she's going to be just what you need. So can't wait to get her to you for Christmas. Good girl.